Yo guys, um, this is my, one of my first videos I'm making on my channel, so I welcome you if you're watching, and I hope you enjoy. So uh, let's just get started. Load into my Mars save. Uh, this is where I have a rover on Mars, and I'm about to embark on the crew for my first Kerbals on Mars, or not Mars, Duna. So let's go to the tracking station here, and then I can load into my spacecraft, which is Endurance 3. I call it the Endurance because uh, Interstellar, <laughs> big fan of that movie. So let's fly this thing, and you'll notice once we load into the spacecraft, there's a lot of solar panels. <laughs> And I like I like the aesthetic. What well, solar panels have on a on a spacecraft? It's so it's so nice. So you see here, like you know, what what are these things? Uh, these are um, engines. Uh, so they're not stock engines from the vanilla game, I guess. It's a mod from CCAN or CSAT. I mean, something like that. It's easy to install. I mean, it does everything for you. Basically, like a mod directory, and it gives you all, all the stuff. Uh, yeah, so this is my spacecraft. Uh, these engines are very efficient. Uh, I need these engines because uh, you know I can't do it with regular engines. You know, I, t I I use too much fuel delta V. So these things, what full at 100% thrust, use like they use like 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5 uh, fuel. Per, per second, I guess, 0.5 percent, and it uses some ele electric uh, charge, so that's why I have a lot of batteries and solar panels to charge that. And then I have my lander right here. My lander uh, uses the same engine because you know it's it's still good, uh, not in vacuum, so like on the um, in atmosphere, it still has pretty good thrust, like 500 thrust, but then it doubles once you're in the vacuum or in space. So I still have this, this is the lander here. It has lots of panels because when I do re-entry, I can't uh, extend these things. It'll get destroyed by atmospheric uh, disturbances. So yeah, I'm, uh, I speed up time so I can get the best approach to Duna, not Mars. Duna. I keep saying Mars, but you know it's whatever. All right. So, uh, I saw a video, it's like, what, 45 degrees or something for best approach. Uh, yeah, so, and obviously, you know, I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> I, I, looked, I learned all this through YouTube, especially uh, through Matt Lone. You should check check him out if, uh, if you're watching any, any of my videos. He is uh, on a new level above me. He's super good at the game. <laughs> uh, he he always uh, downgrades himself, but he's a great Kerbal game gamer, <laughs> I should say. Uh, so it looks like we're getting close, or not 90 degrees, but uh, I'd rather have 45. That's, that's, that's what he was saying, so I'm just gonna go to 45. Oh, as you can see, my visuals aren't vanilla either. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a, sp a spectral mod, I guess. It's a visual mod. Makes the game look more realistic, like atmospheric effects and like some sun glares and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're almost there. Oh yeah, I set as target, and then I guess I usually stop right here. Stop right here. Let's get in here. Then I add a maneuver. I prograde until uh, till my solar orbit, my orbiting around the sun is elliptical to Duna's orbit, and I try to find an intercept. I just drag my uh, shit, fucking, and I just drag the uh, drag my node around and see when the intercept is. So this is an intercept close approach. So I want that closer, right? So just drag. 
over it. Ah, that looks up there. So what's that? Closest approach. Still pretty far. So I just go from this view and see. Oh, you can see that. So that's to do an intercept. So that's pretty close for now. That's good enough for now, I guess. And then we'll work our way down once we get there. Because, uh, interesting and small. It's fucking. Oh, shit. What? That's. What? Oh my god, wait, what? My burn time is too much. What? Oh god. What? Alright, I think it went too much there. What? Alright, you know, we're gonna reset, reset this freaking thing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. Add maneuver. I don't know, maybe my spacecraft is too heavy here. Might be too heavy. This one's on, right? Shut down. Yes. Yeah, so. Hmm. Hmm. So I think I guys I found the problem. Uh, it's taking into account these two engines. That's why the node of the burn time is so long. So what I did here was my lander engine for the lander engine. I just uh was it here throttle main throttle so I put status so I put independent and I just shut it down just. Uh, so it's in past, so I'm not a part of this main spacecraft. So, uh, see, now it's changed to. I don't think it matters. Uh, I don't think it matters. Dust the mirror. Yeah. Let's get leave that up. So, if, yeah, it does matter, actually. Alright, so you guys are just. Main throttle. Oops. Yeah, it matters. So, just, just put the dust the mirror to zero. And if you guys are. I don't know have the same problem I guess that's the solution uh, so yeah so I guess now now we're ready to uh, intercept with a uh, dune here Let's see here yeah we are we are set what tar says baby we are lined up okay uh... Right, yeah, so we make this node longer here to get that those two things and now just fuck around with it or play with it and then uh, we'll get a better intercept. Yeah, so yeah, it seems like going this way more. Frick. Alright, I fucked it up. Yeah. The going from here is too hard. Um yeah yeah yeah. There we go. Two million, two f 24 million meters. This is what, what? Uh, it's like 24 kilometers. I think it's taking away three, three decimals, but I'm not sure. I'm a imperialist, so you know, you know how that goes. Um, shit. You know, that's good for now. We have like unlimited fuel. We have a very efficient engine. So we should be fine. No, in three minutes. So I guess I'm uh, turn on SAS here. Go to maneuver. Oh man, so freaking loud. Yeah, that's why I've. That's why I, I refu had, a re had a couple of uh, refueling launches because uh, I use so much more propellant. Yeah, it was like what? If all of them were active, I use like four, four point three max. So. Yeah, that's one thing about the spacecraft that's pretty pretty bad. <laughs> that shit right there. 
All right, so warp, we'll warp around. Get it close. So what I usually do is, or I heard this from Matt Loud as well. I do it about 30, so 35 seconds. So I do it half, half T minus and then half uh, T positive. So that's what I do. So I wait for 35 seconds and then I start the burn. So with the maneuver ready, I just fast forward to, to the burn here. So here, it's speed up three. Sometimes I miss it, and it's frustrating. So, but I think I get the hang of these, uh, the times two stuff. So, should, should be all right. All right. Oh, I missed it. See there, but that's fine. We can do adjustments along the way once we're in the intercept. And if you if you miss this intercept or on the orbit, we just adjust it when we're in orbit. Or um, when we're uh, still in the intercept for Kerbin. Right, so this your burn time is a minute twenty nine. See, so see how this this thing takes like point five, you know, and point like five per per second. Yeah, that's how I cheat this game because I'm bad as oh no. Okay, see, see what I did there. <laughs> oh my god, I it's going retrograde, and I'm gonna crash. <laughs> so, but I, just, I gotta restart. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Hey, where is it? Test, test, test. So I think I saved it. Oh my god, dude. That's kind of embarrassing. Well, then again, we'll just load it up. I forgot to set the control point. And it's backwards because I, I was on this one last, and it's going this way. So prograde will be ret retrograde for this spacecraft is going. Oh, so wait, where? Uh, I just do the hatch, I guess. Control here. Yeah, and it switches. So um, that's a mistake and a half. <laughs> Jeez. All right, fixed. Now we do this shit all over again. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, guys. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm such a noob. I kind of am still, but whatever. Uh, we'll just fine tune this again. Alright, yeah. Here we go. A little more prograde. And a little more going eat ah oh, shit should be there minute ten burn time I don't really want to limit that all right there we go there we go all right so uh, let's do this all over again here yeah a lot of mon propellant wasted going prograde. Going to the maneuvers and retrograding. So once we get there, we'll get there. And, uh, oh my god! Yeah. So once we're there, I'm just gonna fast forward. Uh, yeah, we're good. At least when it warps, it follows the maneuvers. I don't waste any more propellant. More propellant. Because I have so much RCS thrusters in my freaking spacecraft. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Alright. Wait. Mm, yeah, we're almost there. Alright. So, uh, yeah, 35 seconds again. We'll just fast forward to 35 seconds. Hopefully, I'm. Have it this time, I don't miss it. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we'll stop there. And then bam. Easy as that. So 35 seconds, T minus, and then T positive, or whatever. When we're going positive numbers, 35 seconds, we should end. Oh, look at this beauty. 
It's a nice, nice spacecraft. One of the best I've made. I've built. Yeah, over the top, over the course, I need to check, make sure my warp is going the right way here. Missing. Wait. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. So usually, once it escapes um, curb and orbit, the thing goes fast. So, or the orbit changes pretty fast in terms of looking at the curb. And Okay, almost there. 13, 12, 11, 10. Almost there, and we'll cut the entrance off. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> that sucks. Well, but we're still having intercept there, so that's good. No, wait, or that's just a note. Oh, we do, we do, we do, we do. Is that 44 million meters away? 44 kilometers? Wait, no, 44,000 kilometers, yeah. That's freaking far as hell, but... Uh, we have tons of fuel. But do, should I waste some other going? Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay. So I guess we'll uh, just fast forward this to so this curb escape. Now we're in orbit around this the sun here. So uh, when will this happen? This is takes gonna take a freaking while, like a full year. So yeah, let's fast forward. Or we can just warp there. Yeah, because I don't want to miss it just in case I something happens. Oh yeah, and along these lines, you should save. Make sure, yeah. Uh, uh, if, if I crash, I can just hope I missed uh, doing an intercept. I can just go back to. It. So uh, I should put tuna intercept crew mission. Crew mission one. All right. Oh, that's glitchy. We'll tell. All right. So. Warp. There's Duna. Damn, that's a lot. Hopefully it gets around zero. Yeah, it is, because we're going to catch the orbit. We're going to get caught by Duna's gravity soon. Damn, I can't wait to see this shit live once it actually happens in real life. Elon Musk, baby. I'm a stand, baby. I'm a stand for that guy. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, so our, our apoapsis or parallaps, what is it? Para? Para? Whatever. The fuck? Right, we'll, go, we'll go for more. <sighs> so much time. Do not escape. So, what's our as paralapses or paraapsis? Paraapsis. Yeah. So once we hit, once we hit that the, the, the do not encounter. I guess uh, I'll show you what I do in terms of getting into orbit around Duna. What I've learned watching videos, watching Matt Lone videos actually. Matt Lone videos really helps me. So, we'll wait till we're in the do not encounter here. And then we'll start our maneuvers. Oh, shit, we're going fast, but we're not. Alright, it's pretty straight because we're going super fast. So, we we'll just put a maneuver right at. Paralapsis, retrograde, a lot. Oh, see that switch there? I don't want to do that. It's wasting fuel. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just redo this. Redo it. I'm gonna redo it. Actually, come on, come on. Right, right click. 
Alright, we'll just do it again. I don't want to waste fuel. <sighs> now, some of these controls are so fidgety. Can't wait. Can't wait for the second game to come out. It'll be so nice. Alright, All right, um. Yeah, 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 there we go. Guess we can go close. Let's go closer so we don't. Once we land and come back, we don't use that much fuel. Um, one plus Duna has less gravity than Earth because I did test the lander on on our Kerbin, and it was just fine. I got into orbit with that thing just fine. So with Duna, less gravity, less fuel. Since it's a lighter aircraft. Wait, why am I still in program? This is, wait, hold on. Switch that. Yeah, there we go. Shoot, I don't want any encounters with the freaking Ike. Alright, we'll get closer. 430. Mm, 176, I was fine. Alright. We'll move to the maneuver. Which will use tons of propellant. Well, not a lot. Yeah, it uses 4.7. When all of them are in use. I'm trying to move my move my spacecraft to the maneuver node. Alright, so minute four. 32 seconds will start to burn. Uh, warp there. Maybe I should create a save here after this warp. So, uh, what did I call it again? A uh, crew. Uh, mission. Uh, two. We're almost there. Not really. We'll warp again. 46 minutes. <sighs> okay. 30 minutes. That's how you do, usually do. I zoom in, go halfway, zoom in, go halfway until I reach like what? Down to two minutes. Two to three minutes, and then I just do it manually. So I don't miss it. I have full control. Slash. If you want to slash it. Alright, it's still 19 minutes. So. Or warp, yeah, seven. All right, twelve, six. Three or two forty eight, whatever's. All right, and then we'll just do it manually. And we'll start out thirty two seconds again. Thirty two seconds will start the burn. Jeez, bro, I gotta. Make sure I don't click anything stupid. Now uh, we'll, we'll just take it slow here. Be patient about it. Uh, 32 seconds. Alright, that's good enough for me. Even though in real life it wouldn't be, but whatever's. Come on, maneuver. Let's see if we're doing the right thing here. Yeah, it's hard to tell at first, but once we... Yeah, okay. Number decreasing, so we should be going the right way. <sighs> now we wait for this very elliptical orbit around Duna. Once it goes more like right here, it goes really fast, so you want to be careful about that. Just, just focus on burn time and how much meters per second you need to burn up. Away, yeah, very fuel efficient. <laughs> it's like cheating almost, but whatever. Um, almost there now. I just stopped it up before one, so then I can just. All right, nope. All right, now you just go a little bit till I reach zero. Uh, yeah, alright, that's good enough. What is it? Yeah, 
we're close enough. All right, that's actually good. See, we're a little, we're just a little slanted, I guess. We're not like around the equator of Duna. Yeah, so I guess uh, we'll fix it later. Can I maneuver here? Retrograde in so we can get the Apple Apsis down to around, was it 180? 180,000 meters above Duna. Yeah, once it starts to turn. So I yeah, want to. That is weird. Yeah, usually when that happens, uh, your note isn't perfectly on on the uh, parallapsis, so yeah, it's quite off. So once I put it in the middle, should even out more. Yeah, see that? Should even out a little more. Twenty two, twenty two, twenty eight. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Four thousand meters off. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> uh, so what, nineteen seconds. Yeah, it goes by fast. Nineteen seconds. So at the uh, oh, nine seconds, I lost. Start to burn. Nine seconds. Turn it. Eighteen. Yeah, nine, nine seconds. I can do math. <laughs> uh, it's pretty slow up here, so it's gonna fast forward. Oh my god, what the. Hey, we're going so slow <laughs> since we <laughs> burned so much fuel. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're almost there. Ten days. <sighs> Man, imagine being on the spacecraft for half a year. Or, I don't know how Elon's going to do it, but. Just being around the same people for a lot long period amount of time is crazy. All right. Oh shit. Oh my god, bro. So I use slash there to cancel my. Uh, was it warp? Whatever's. Yeah, as you can see, I already have a satellite here. Yeah, I use it. I put down a, a Mars rover or something like that. Yeah, still on the Mars. I haven't done anything with it, but just just to let you guys know, I'm not uh, in career mode. I'm in sandbox because I still I still suck at the game. So it's what. <laughs> uh, so nice nine. All right, it's like two minutes, four minutes. I don't know math. <sighs> Almost there. We do one more warp and we do it manually. Just two or five times. Times five and then oh shit. We're not even on We're not even on the maneuver. I think I caught that. Oh look. There's what? Was that Ike? That's Ike. Yeah, we're using yeah, we're using a lot of, of them. a lot of that. Once we're in the maneuver, I'll start it up again. Okay, nine seconds. Nine seconds. Two. Oh, whatever's. It's good enough. As long as I get it down to around that that area of apoapsis, we should be fine. To one, okay, let's we'll do it manually from here. Let's we'll shift and control a little more. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, RCS, stop doing that. Yeah, that'll fix here is uh, warp time. And your, your spacecraft will stop moving around. Yeah, SCS is shaky, so I turn off SCS sometimes. Alright, I think we should, I should land on the day side of the planet so I can see stuff. 
Swarp here. Where is, wait, I didn't even check the orbit. Oh wait, this is more than I expected. Better than I expected. <laughs> okay, so that worked out quite well. All right. Uh, I should go a little more, a little more, a little more. Then we'll quit. Is create a save here. Let's save game. Oh, Mars. Not Mars. Duna. Landing. One. All right. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Okay. We'll go back to spacecraft here. Okay. Let's make sure I have actually. Kerbals in here, duck Kerbals in here. I do, I have Rip, Riblock and Max Pont. So I guess I'll control from here. Control from here. Where is it? Yeah, control from here. Shut this one down. Activate this one. Yeah, activate. We're on zero. And I guess we'll undock. Do I have enough more propellant? Check the model propellant. <sighs> yeah, I, I like. I like clipped it, so it's hard hard to see how much. Fucking. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. I should have uh, disabled this uh, flow, but whatever. Is it enough? That's how I create a save. Alright, we're just gonna do it. Alright, undock. Wait. I'm pi yeah, I have a pilot. Or the two pilots. Eh, whatever. Alright, so... Move away from the spacecraft. <sighs> Target, not orbit. Yeah, orbit, there we go. And then we'll go retrograde. I have to attract these things first, so I don't destroy them. Alright, can I not? Huh. Well, that sucks. Alright, whatever, we'll do it anyway. You have enough filler pounds, I guess, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's start to burn. Since you have a lot of fuel. Yeah. I just slow down when we're down there. Warp. Warp, 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 warp. Alright. How much are we using? One. Yeah, we should be fine. What? Alright, as long as we can connect it to the relay. I mean, this should be. Oh, yeah, this thing's. Oh. Yeah, there's like a bug. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bug. Should I leave it open? Because I have pilots in here, so it should be fine. I don't really need. Uh. Connection to KSC. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna track the intent so I don't fuck it up. During entry. Into Duna. We have pilots in here. Yeah, full crew control. We're good, we're good. We got two pilots here. We good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Alright, we're heading down. Pass every line. Yeah, we do landing gear a lot. Right before landing. Alright, we're, we're in atmosphere now. I don't think we should. Oh, we have half of this, though. 
Whatever, it should be fine. Wish I wish these were attracted by the tone. Uh, Whatever, it's fine. Do I have two antennas here? No, I don't. I should have added one of the smaller ones. Okay. It doesn't look like. Once you get to the thicker parts, will start to slow down. At least these things aren't falling off, so. It's a plus. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it fucking fell off. Whatever. I don't know if slowing down. This thing, this engine isn't that efficient in atmosphere. Oh, it kind of is. Because the atmosphere is thin on Duna. So it should be fine. Um, uh, so we're traveling landing gears now. Extend landing gear. Why is your shadow? At least the landing spot is pretty flat, I guess. Alright, slow down more. Once we get to that dot. Ooh, yeah, once we get to that dot, we're just gonna. Retrograde. I'm gonna go st stability assist so we don't. Like destroy a freaking Yeah, we're going we're going straight down I think for now. Yeah, it looks top heavy, but I put a lot of fuel tanks at the bottom, so shouldn't Oh shit. Alright, 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 so really assist. Oh my god. I'm so bad at just I keep forgetting Duna has is has less gravity so it's more sensitive to my thrust uh input so i gotta limit that i focus on the meter per second here shift 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 ah so close so close so close to the ground should be good now we're going right a little bit doesn't matter, stay on the ground. Oh my god. Turn off RCS. Yeah, we're actually on center of ground, but our center of gravity is pretty low, so it wouldn't topple over. But we did it. We're on Mars. So uh, I guess that's it for this video. Well, but first, we need to plant the flag. So I have put these matters in. <laughs> Hope this freaking works. <laughs> uh, I don't know EVA. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Or if anyone's watching, uh, leave a like or subscribe. I don't really care. I'm just doing this for fun. I want to test it out. Uh, and I'll see you guys. Or see anyone at least in my next Kerbal Space Dragon video. Thanks.